Mick Gower from Australia, living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I ran into rammed earth for oh, must have been 25, 30 years ago, back in, in the, the, the Kimberleys up the northwest coast of Australia. Uh, there's a few rammed earth places up there and a guy from Broome drove up. He's a rammed earth builder and uh, he probably drove about seven, eight, 800 miles up to build this house and turned up with his, with, his, with his dump truck and a skid steer in the back and some forms and he built this cool as house out of dirt and I was like whoa I loved it. No, I, I was doing the framing on it and the trim carpentry on it. So I watched the whole process go on and then I found myself a little book in a newsagent, real little old book. I've still, still got it actually. Um, it's a pretty outdated book. It's an old rammed earth process. Um, but that's when I initially ran into rammed earth quite a few years ago and I just loved it. It made perfect sense to me um, to build a house out of dirt that's huge, just massive. Um, yeah, I just fe fell in love with it right there and then. Well, apart from being what I think beautiful, one of the most beautiful forms of building, we're making the house out of dirt. Um, sure, we've got a bit of the carbon footprint with Portland cement because we built stabilised rammed earth, but we can actually take dirt off of a site. Um, you want to build a, build a pond or you build a swimming pool, we can use that dirt um, as long as it's not too involved in screening it because clay in itself can be a bit of a pain in the butt, big clumps of clay. But um, yeah, we can use dirt out of the ground to um, build with rammed earth. So we're taking something that's so simple um, I love the idea of the simplicity of rammed earth. Another thing is the process of rammed earth. I love the idea that it can be systemized. Um, it's such a systemized process that you can teach someone that system and it's pretty an easy system to follow and to, to reproduce. And you can really uh, get really efficient with that system and I'm all about efficiency and creating systems in, in my building practice. That's what we do to become better at our trade. Tornado proof, fire proof, insect proof, you're building a landmark, you pass down to generations to generations, the feel and touch of it, the sound when you walk into rammed earth and the aesthetics of it. Uh, you can get creative as you want. Um, it's such a unique process. To me, it makes sense. Aussie built, well, Aussie built started out Aussie construction and we still have Aussie construction. So we're still building from the ground, ground up from just standard stick frame houses. We, we, do, we do everything from the ground up, do our own. We got machinery and we do clearing concrete and frame. We, we, we do everything from the ground up. Um, and then we went to, to, to Aussie built because that's more specialis, specializing in the rammed earth structures. So I'm still building like normal, but the, the Aussie built side of it is purely for rammed earth and um, rain, rainwater collection systems. But it's going more that, that e eco build, um, more sustainable build, out, out of the box build. And that, that, that's, that's what an Aussie bot Aussie build is who I am really so um, a, a little bit out, out of the box and it just makes sense to me ram, rammed earth and that's how Aussie built started up and now we're providing all the products for all the rammed earth builders around all the country and even yeah other other countries as well I guess what separates us from not so much rammed earth builders but builders in general is we do the from the ground up um, I've been involved with building for so so long and so and been involved in so many of the trades and the process throughout from the ground up. So most builders that you'll be dealing with, they're just managing. They're, they're managing the, the project, um, general contracts. They're not really on the tools where I'm, I've got all, all my hands full of calluses. I'm still on the tools. Um, so you've got that expertise there of being involved throughout the whole process. So we're thinking of the next trade coming ahead or because it's, it's, it's usually us. So we're a lot, a lot of builders you get, they're bringing in the trades, they're subcontractors and they're, they want to get in and out quick as they can and get paid. So there's those little steps that might be missed. Um, because we're involved through the whole process, none of that gets missed. So that's, that's where we really separate ourselves now. And then combining all that building experience and now rammed earth so i'm not just a rammed earth builder i'm a builder in essence in itself so i encompass all, all of it rammed earth just happens to be a passion of mine that i've um, that i've really followed and chased after to a new rammed earth builder hmm. so it's a scary it's a scary attempt to build a rammed earth house i mean you're building a house out of dirt so to get that little bit of knowledge and that little bit of um, confidence and comfortable in knowing that you're doing that you can move forward so that involves either consulting or going out and doing some courses. Just, you gotta get a little bit of comfort level first. So I would recommend that. That would be the first thing, either do some courses or 
get someone that can solve or really give you some good information, some good understanding of the process. Um, the other thing would be to start on something small first, start on a front entry gate, start on a little shed, start on a uh, chicken house. Start start small, start simple, don't just go into straight building a house. Um, and do, do the work up front. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna pay back in the back end. Don't rush into it. It's like we tell a lot of customers, you know, you might want to spend a little bit more up front in getting your design, your drawings, your architectural, structural stuff sorted out so that you're not trying to catch up further down the line in the build process, which is slowing down the process, causing hiccups, spending extra money. So, you know, just getting, just getting more understanding of the whole process um, by either getting instruction from someone else or learning a little bit more, just getting a good understanding of it. So as far as consulting, you could build it yourself or you can, ask, you can ask us to come out and consult. Now that would involve a lot of, lot of phone, phone calls back and forth. We have Zoom, you know, the internet now. Um, and then it's, it's also side appearances. You could, you could rent forms off me, you can rent mixers off me, um, machinery if you want. Um, but generally, it's I come in consult and I'll tell you or help you understand the process of the mixing process, the soils that you'll need, and the forms. And forms are important, they're about 70% of our work. A lot of work goes into setting forms, doing them correctly. There's a lot of pressure on those walls when you're ramming. And if your corner blowouts and all sorts of stuff, it's a big mess, it's a lot to fix. So. To help, helping understand those procedures and the best way to go about that will really cause you a lot of mess up and just a lot of heartache. So you're spending that initial money up front um, to save in the, in the back end of the build and it's pretty worthy. Get you a good understanding of the basis that we also go through your plans right at the start to help where you can mainly save some money if you're on a tight budget. But we help you go through the whole process um, of, of getting some walls up and built. Once we feel comfortable that you've got a couple walls and you've got a good grip on it, then we'll then I'll, I'll, I'll pretty well let you and your crew start building some walls and then I'm accessible by, by phone and if, if, if I need to jump on a plane or come and, come and visit again, we can. Um, that's generally the process of it. And the idea is we want, we want you to have a great rammed earth house. It's gonna be around for generations without problems.